Welcome back to my channel Mathematics and really interesting great challenge today 6 times 6 divided by 6 times 6 seems pretty basic seems pretty easy however many people are going to get this problem incorrect but don't panic I'm going to fully explain you how to solve this correctly and step by step first of all here is our challenge and thread. let's rewrite this challenge right here so we have 6 times 6 divided by 6 times 6 so this is the most common mistake right here I, and right now i'm going to show you this the most common mistake but before solving this challenge i suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself three option a b and c so choose one option what do you think is the correct answer to this challenge and you will be shocked about the correct answer so first of all uh, take a look closely at our challenge we have six times six divided by six times six on the left hand side we have this multiplication yeah and we have the same multiplication on the right hand side yeah so if you look closely six times six equal to 36 and we have the in the middle and right here we have the same expression 6 times 6 which is equal to 36 so it looks like a correct answer 36 divided by 36 equal to 1 we have this option option b we have right here so it looks like option b is a correct answer but in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem because we can't solve our challenge randomly so for this challenge let's look for example at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to this PMDMC order of operation. So I wanted to, to leave this part right here. And right now let's rewrite once more. So we have 6 times 6 divided by 6 and times 6. Here's our challenge. Right now, how, PMD, how does PMDMC works? PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so on the top the highest priority, on the bottom the lowest priority. Yeah? And of course the first step is parentheses. In our case we don't have parentheses, so it's really great. Moreover, we have only multiplication and division group. Yeah, Multiplication we have right here and division we have after this multiplication. We don't have addition, we don't have subtraction, we don't have exponent, we don't have parentheses. So we have only multiplication and division part. What is the correct order to do this problem? Multiplication first, then division, or division first, then multiplication? Here is the main thing. And according to PMDMC, the correct order in it is, in, is a strict order from left to right, okay? In which we should scan what is the first sign from left to right, okay? Multiplication or, or division. So we have three signs, and on the first side, uh, first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we should multiply 6 times 6. Completely the same step as right here. So we have 36, yeah? divided by 6 and times 6. So as you can see, we have a little bit differences with this uh, solution because we uh, multiplied 6 times 6 before, but right here we just rewrite it and once more we scan what is the first sign from left to right. But in this case, the first sign from left to right is this division, not, not multiplication on the right as we solved it before. But this division right here, so 36 divided by 6 equal to 6, and we still have multiplication by 6, which gives us 36 option option c and right now the main question what is the correct answer here option b here option c 1 36 what is the correct answer of course this is a bad solution because we solve it absolutely randomly we just jump from left to right which is really bad uh, thing in terms of math of course with parentheses this is a great solution because then we should start from these parentheses right here and then from these parentheses and then multiplication will have the higher priority than division because multiplication is inside parentheses which is our first step so with parentheses correct answer is correct answer is option b without parentheses correct answer is option c and this is our case we don't have parentheses so our correct answer is option option c let's write our answer let's write our answer correct answer is option c to this really interesting challenge but do pay attention to this solution this is a very tricky challenge a lot of students fail to solve this challenge according to this uh, according to this case because they think that correct answer is one correct answer is c which is which is really bad so thank you for your time, have a great day, also if you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, I have a lot of challenges, a lot of great brain tests, a lot of, a lot of interesting relaxing challenges every day, so if you're interested in this, you can visit my YouTube channel, I have a lot of videos. So thank you for your support, see you in the next videos, have a great day and thank you for watching.